everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Elf Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. And today, no matter what, we're beating Chapter 10. I make that a promise at the beginning of today's video. Uh, we have quite a few things to do to make ourselves a little bit stronger than last time, because if you didn't see last time's video, um, we got so close. We we're on the second last stage, probably like two seconds away from actually beating it. So we just need a little bit more damage, which hopefully we're going to be able to do with just our XP. If we'll try the stage again, if we can't beat it again, then uh, I'm gonna spend some gems on some treasure draws, see if I can upgrade my treasure, and then, worst case scenario, I guess try to promote one of my cookies. Uh, but preferably, I would just have to upgrade the treasure. But first off, uh, I'm gonna upgrade Dark Choco. I think he's gonna be the most damage based cookie I can use. So let's do it. Two levels, not bad. How close are we to another one? A little over halfway. So we might be able to get that to 53, but 52 is not bad for now. Um, ignoring that, though, there are a few other things we can do, I believe. How close are we actually to getting the next treasure level? We need two more draws, because we have a few treasure draws already. We have five. So will two of these be the rare we need? Probably not, but this might be a good start. Can we get at least one? Can we get one of the ones I need? One of the ones I need. There we go. Yeah, we didn't get both. Already won, though, so that's pretty helpful. I am going to open my daily gift. I mean, I could open those nine cookie archers now, and you know what? Sure, I'm going to do these at the start. Um, hopefully, we can actually just get a couple more treasure draws, because, honestly, I would much rather just straight up get uh, the treasure upgrade, because I have a feeling that's going to make the biggest difference. Even if it's only, like, a 0.5% increase in crit chance, also, we just pulled a mango cookie, that's going to make a pretty big difference. Also, that was from the basic cookie draw, that's... The fact that I've only pulled one from the featured, and I've done, like, 40 featured pulls, and I can just get it based from a single cookie draw from the normal cookie gotcha is a little irritating, but... Well, there we go. So we have a mango cookie promotion. Uh, with luck, we'll... <laughs> okay, we have two mango cookie promotions. That was fast. Uh, we're really close to getting another treasure upgrade for the crit chance one. Plus, we got two more levels for dark chocolate cookie. Ooh, did I think I forgot to upgrade a skill. Okay, give me a second. We have to go back to the cookies menu for a second. Dark Choco, yeah, we didn't upgrade his skills. So these two levels, that's 4.1% damage increase. That's that's not horrible. Uh, can we upgrade Mango skill anymore? We can upgrade Mango skill three levels, 2.4% increase in damage. We can promote him twice, which actually, if we look at just the attack, it's 900 increase in attack when he's total 16,000. That's um, well, it's roughly a 5% increase in damage. If we can do it twice, that's not bad. Increasing his damage by like 10% is actually pretty decent. So, already, um, hopefully, honestly, that worked a lot better than I was thinking. At first, when I was, I'm like, okay, this, that's gonna be the promise I make at the start of this video. We're gonna beat chapter 10. It'll be easy. Okay, it won't be easy, but it won't be that bad. And I was realizing, oh, this could take forever. This could actually be really challenging. Or not. Um, I guess, well, I guess it won't be that challenging. You know what, we have another 10 draw there we can do. Maybe even get another epic cookie. That's not bad. Or not another epic cookie. Oh, 20 more draws. Sure, we're doing these at the start. Maybe we'll get Mango Cookie to 5 star. <laughs> I just can't believe we pulled him twice from that single draw. If this is a Mango Cookie, I call foul. Don't be a Mango Cookie. I don't even know what that means. I just said that for a vec. What is that? Like, I people say it all the time. I call foul. It just means, like, it's like accusing someone of cheating or, like, something like that, right? Accusing someone of being evil, cruel, misfortunate, cheating. I think that's what calling foul means, but I don't really know. Can we pull another mango cookie? I don't know. It's an interesting question. If Seriously, though, if this epic's a mango cookie, it's a little ridiculous. Okay, snow sugar cookie. You suck, but you're not a mango cookie, which, in this context, I'm almost somewhat glad. We're also really close to getting Herb to 3 stars, so maybe I'll just get Herb or Pomegranate. Can we actually get both? Herb or Pomegranate? We both have 30, more than 30 out of 50 soul stones. Depending on how many featured points we have, we might actually be able to get at least one, if not both of them, the three star. Okay, that's actually pretty good, especially since we still have one more 10 draw to do here. Wow. Man, I was like, oh yeah, we'll get like two cookie levels. That'll make the difference, right? I guess I'm going to do two cookie levels, two, maybe even three or four promotions. Probably at least three promotions, possibly even four. And maybe even another treasure upgrade. This is not going to be that hard. Pomegranate cookie soul stones, you're actually pretty helpful right now. Keep them coming. Or not. You don't really have to. We're probably in a good enough position already. Because, like, even just a common pull, as I've said way too many times, it's the equivalent of 1.2 epic soul stones. That's pretty nice. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah. 
This is pretty good so far. I mean, this draw's been a little lame, but at least we got a lot of full common cookies. That's a pretty decent amount of mileage points. And I mean, yeah, we got two common cookies. It wasn't that good, but the one we did actually get was a pomegranate cookie, so that's not that bad. Um, back to cookies for a second. So we are missing 18 pomegranate, 14 herb. 18 pomegranate, 14 herb. Oh, wow, no, we have nearly, we have 690. Hey, got two more cookie soul stones. Will you be the ones? Probably not, but maybe. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. Uh, Mail, do you have free treasure gotchas for us? No, you don't. Two, actually, you do, one. Okay, I'm calling it now. No, not you. Calling it now. This is going to be the one rare treasure we need. No, it's not. Two more cookie pulls. Man, this is just like an endless cycle with this game. I feel that every single time I play. Hey, you pulled a cookie. Here's some mileage points. Hey, you got another cookie draw. Have fun. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. It's pretty nice. Can any of these offer me gems or treasure radars? No. Obviously, we could do more treasures, but let's just see if that's enough. Because I feel like that might be. Uh, let's go back. Story mode. Chapter 10. <laughs> I mean, I think the sad thing is, I think we're actually missing. Yeah, we're missing two stars in Chapter 9. So to completely beat story mode, I'm actually going to have to go back into Chapter 9. Which is a little sad. But yeah, two stages to go. Um, we got two stars for Mango, we got two extra levels for Dark Choco. Let's see if that's enough. Honestly, it definitely might be. Let's go for it. Uh, I can't- I really do hope this is enough. Because, I mean, I'm sure the treasure would help. I don't know how much of a difference it'll make, and I don't want this to be a situation where I'm- Like, this isn't the last level, this is the second last level. So the next level could be like, Hi, congratulations, we just increased the power difficulty by 30,000. And now there's two more bosses, or there's double the health or something, and then I'm stuck. So I'm really hoping that the next stage isn't like 10,000 times harder, because that really wouldn't end up all that well for me. It would not be, I would not be in a good situation if that happened. So hopefully that won't happen. Like, I can't really notice much of a difference right now, but maybe I will. Or, you know, just get lucky with the crit chance. That's all it really will end up coming down to, I know that. I'm actually weighing this out. That may have been a dumb decision to save the licorice. Was that stupid? I don't know, because Licorice will one-shot here, but I don't know if that's a smart decision. Z story- Oh, I've read this way too many times. If you've missed this, just watch the last video, because I- uh, No. This is the fourth time I'm seeing this. I don't care about it. At all. How much damage can we do? Herb Cookie, keep us alive. Licorice Cookie- Uh, did they just take no damage there, or was that just me? Because I swear their health bars have not moved yet. Okay, maybe that random licorice timing that I thought was bad is actually going to end up being really good. So now licorice cookie isn't getting any of the attack buffs. I don't know, we have a minute and 30 seconds. Like, we still have plenty of time. But I don't know if it's going to be enough, all things considered. Okay, that was good. They're both, they're all low health and we only have a minute and 12 seconds. The issue is, they actually have healing this time around, which isn't good. So we actually have to outdo their healing. Oh, the licorice cards. I feel like that was bad. Mango Cookie's dead. Okay, how does that keep happening? This has happened twice with our RNG where Licorice Cookie- or Mango Cookie dies. Okay, that was good. Because Licorice Cookie- oh no, Licorice Cookie's minions were out? Were they? I don't know, because if we can get a situation where Licorice Strikes without Licorice Cookie's minions, like the enemy Licorice Cookies, it's really big, like right there, where we're about to win, because now they only have a Dark Chocolate Cookie- they have no more healing. They're no longer healing. We got this. See, the big thing is if we can kill Pomegranate Cookie early. Because now they can't heal anymore, and we're good, right? I'm a little scared that I was like, oh yeah, we're fine. Except they're not dying nearly as quick as I would have liked them to be. Dark Chakra, you have like 10 health. Please die. Please die. There was 7 seconds left. Oh. Uh, I don't- I feel like this video just like, hey, we're doing some cookie gotchas. Now intense, intense battle. Oh, I'm, a, I'm way too scared. My heart rate is way too high for what just happened. That wasn't that exciting. But, I mean, I guess because I know it could have taken me, like, six attempts, that was pretty nice. And that was still so clutch. I love that. Anyways. <sighs> yeah, I feel you, Ginger Brave. That was the toughest battle yet, but we won. This is not the end. Drink from the powers of red pomegranate. Arise! Arise! No. No. They're, they're not going to continue the battle now on me, are they? Please don't. <sighs> I had a dream of becoming one of my own minions. Wow. Hooray! Are we gonna play some more now? Yield, you will not win. That's cheating! There'll be no end to this fight. I quit. My man has been exhausted. I can't even conjure a jelly crumb. 
Oh, black raisin cookie's gonna come to save us. Oh, that's good. Oh, up there, a crow. Why is a crow flying around inside the castle? You know why. Help is here. Is everyone on right? Is he gonna join us for the final battle? Oh, I just played Metopia on the Switch because I don't have a 3DS and I wanted to play Metopia and it came up for Switch finally. And later on in the game, you get access to help. Like you have your main party of uh, four. But you can get access to helpers that carry around, and you can't control them, but they're just a little added bonus. And it made the game so much more interesting to play. I don't know why, but it really made quite a big difference. I really would be interested to see if that happens now. I also just noticed there's like three other people with him, like other people from their village. But how? Didn't I already say that? I don't know. My winged friends were keeping an eye on you. We were worried. You said you wanted to help our village. Then let us help you. Everyone, get ready! You lot, hurry and find Dark Enchantress Cookie. Pierre Vanilla Cookie might be there with her. Go, help him! <gasps> we win! On to the final fight! Are we gonna fight Pure Vanilla in that fight? I was like, oh yeah, we'll just do the Dark Enchantress Cookie battle again. But what if we're actually fighting Pure Vanilla now? Because I still don't really understand what happened to him. I think they stole his soul jam slash soul stone, but I don't actually know. Anyways. Thanks, Black Raisin Cookie. Where do you think you're going? Stop them! You look like someone who hates raisin buns. Let's see what you got. What? Oh, it panicked me. Why keep healing them? Why? You're like, the battle's not over. The battle's... Oh, I still lost a cookie, which means I'm going to have to redo the stage because I still don't have three stars. <laughs> really? I lost a cookie, so I didn't get three stars. That, that sucked. Well, we're gonna see this. Hopefully we can win this battle. If not, I'm gonna do some more treasure grinding. I may actually, if we do win this, because it hasn't been that long, I might still do some treasure grinding and see if I can try to get three stars. Because we do get quite a few gems, but I don't know. Currently my goal is to just beat this, which I'm now quite nervous, because I believe it's quite possible that I'm actually gonna have to do this again. That I'm not gonna be strong enough, and I'm gonna have to go and get the crit chance treasure up. But let's see. I can also switch to a more tankier treasure if we have, like, lots of... Because we're just flying through right to the final battle here. Yeah, that was... I'm like, hey, congratulations, here's an enemy wave. Now, empty, 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 empty. I mean, I'm kind of glad because this gives us a whole two and a half minutes to do this fight, which is hopefully enough time. Because I don't think they have healing unless Pure Vanilla heals... So, oh, no, oh, no. What if this is the exact same fight from stage eight, but now she is healing? That would make it so brutal. The stage 8 fight wasn't that hard, but healing, I can, like, because seeing Pomegranate combine with people, healing is a nightmare. It's so, it makes things so much more annoying when not only you can heal, but your opponents can heal. That's why Arena's so hard. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of why Arena's so hard, because healing is annoying. If the enemy has healing too, it just makes it way harder. But anyways, over there, it's Pure Vanilla Cookie. He's trapped in a jar. Oh no. The light of truth is gathering towards pure vanilla cookie. Mwahahahah. <laughs> Too late. Have you an inkling as to how much I've longed for this moment? Behold, my ascension, and kneel before the new master of the world. Not if we have anything to say about it, boss. That felt so like, it's just like, oh no, whoa, we're fine. Unless she heals drastically, she's doing no damage, and her health bar is actually going down really quickly. Also, that nuke laser, does that remind anyone else of, um, I don't know, perhaps just, uh, maybe just like, uh, Moon Lord's Death Ray? I was trying to think of the name, I'm gonna be honest, I was just stuck. Seriously, this isn't it, right? There's something else, there's gonna be like a second phase or something. Because if not, then... Really, you made me fight all of the dunk cookies through that, like, insanely difficult battle, and then you take me to this as the final boss? No, there's gonna be something else, right? There's totally gonna be something else. There's no way that's the end. There's no way that's the end. That would be so lame, right? I'm starting to have a little bit of existential dread, I'm not gonna lie, because that that would really suck if that was it, because that was really easy, but I can already tell there's gonna be another phase. Phase. Phase? Did I say phase? Phase. Gonna be another phase, I can tell. Anyways, I say that a lot whenever I get distracted from the story. He looks so, like, mad, that monster. He's like, I lost, I lost, I've never lost before. You must die. You must be cheating. I'm going to beat you now. He also looks so terrifying, too. Uh, anyways, why do I keep getting distracted? Ginger Brave, you of all cookies, dare to hinder my efforts? No, you cannot no, stop me. Good. You are no hero. But I'm not alone in this fight. All cookies are stronger together. 
<laughs> Do you even know what we are? We cookies are made to be eaten! Have you ever noticed why your body's crispy? For a palatable texture? Why are you sugary? To ensure every crunching bite is sweet. What's she saying? Gingerbread, she's spreading lies and nonsense, right? Ugh. This can't- Please don't tell me this is the only reveal. Because although I guess we wouldn't have known this if you hadn't seen the Tower of Sweet Chaos, which did come after this update. But if so, that's a little- That's gonna be a little disappointing, because a lot- Most people couldn't beat this when the update first dropped. Anyways. So- So- She's lying. Cookies haven't- But- Cookies weren't born in the oven to be snacks? Still, you remain ignorant. Useless. All of you. Wasteful pieces of dough. Like you belong in the deepest abyss. Yeah, second boss phase. I'm excited now until I lose. That's all I'll say. I'm no longer excited. <laughs> like, I'll excite it now until I lose. That's all I'll say. Yeah. I noticed that. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for defense. Since there is no healing, I definitely think defense is going to be better. So I'll make sure to do that switch soon. Because I think I can beat this. I just messed up that timing and lost two cookies, which was really bad on my part. Damage feels so sporadic, but I feel like I'm much gonna be much better off once I have the defense trinket back. It's gonna make things a lot better. I am still a little nervous about damage, though, because this fart base has, like, ten times the amount of health. This is a million health. We've only done a little over 100,000 damage in, like, 30 seconds, even if this is with too few cookies. We're not gonna lose to this again, are we? Two videos, I progress one stage further, and that's it. At least we'll get to see the ending, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna go for the, tr like, the crit chance tre treasure is gonna help me. I definitely want defense. Though then again, I am times up, but I think that's just because I lost two cookies. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, no, no. Wait, raise level. I can raise her level? Anyone I can level up at this point, I'm gonna do. You can be leveled up once. Cool. Congratulations. You were helpful. Hooray! Woohoo! Okay, um, here's what I'm gonna do. Switch out the treasure, add in the defense treasure again, because I think that's going to be more useful here. And hope that this is enough. If I'm going to try it again, if we lose again, well then dang it, if we lose again, then I might be in trouble, because I might mean that I actually can't beat this level today, which I really wanted to be. Like, it would have been anticlimactic if that was the ending, because originally that was really easy, but the fact that there was a second phase didn't exactly make it better. Like, I wouldn't exactly say the fight became better once we knew there was a second phase. It is nice that you do get this break, though. You get to recharge every single ability. So I have to keep in mind, save her but for after the after she dies, okay? I'm gonna try to remember that. Over there! Oh, wait, no, I already read this. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, 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 skip. Don't talk. Don't talk. Skip. I think I'm gonna replace every last scene now with that. That's what I'm gonna say from here on out. Is that dumb? I don't know. Like, she really doesn't do any damage at the first phase. Like, even that attack doesn't do that much. It's a little confusing, because part of me feels, well, wait a sec, should I just be trying to rush through this phase, or... Like, I don't know. What's my game plan here? Do I want to just save her for later? We're doing good damage. So I think in this phase she has, yeah, roughly a tenth of the health, which is a little terrifying, because if this is like a tenth of the health, this isn't taking no time to beat. And at the second phase, it's doing more damage. I'm a little scared I'm not going to be able to beat this, and once again, people are going to be saying, Use Vampire, use Rai, they'll beat this stage, no problem! Please don't be the case. Okay, more text. Only issue is now none of these abilities are back up. I really hope this works, because if this doesn't work and I lose, then it's going to really suck, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be pretty painful. It would suck, because honestly, I'm not... I know at the beginning I said, hey, I, no matter what, I'm beating Chapter 10 today. If we're, like, if he's at, like, under half health, maybe. But if he's over half health on the second phase, uh, I have to remove that promise, because I suck. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. I mean, like, I can't really know what's gonna come next. It really isn't just impossible for me to tell. To tell. Also, I hate this healing, because the damage it's doing feels so sporadic. Like, how did I lose cookies at one point? It doesn't feel like I'm anywhere near losing a cookie right now. But I don't know. Was it the combination of the healers or something? Is that what did it? I guess I'll never really know. Like, that nuke attack. I guess I just got unlucky with the timing? I don't really know. Like, that right there. That was pretty deadly. But now I think we're kind of okay again. So, it's hard to tell. 
Damage is still very lame. We're not gonna be up to we're not gonna be anywhere near beating this, are we? I haven't lost a cookie yet, so that's something, I guess. I guess that's something. Sort of. Sort of something. We're still totally like even if we don't lose a cookie, which we probably won't, look at our damage output. Like there's no hope of us beating this boss anytime soon. Look how much damage we're doing. Ugh. I hate this. Seriously. I know originally I was like, oh, well, with max level 60 cookies, you can totally beat this on dark mode. Maybe dark mode isn't much harder. I don't really know. Maybe dark mode doesn't get that much harder from this point on. Maybe, like, chapter 8 dark mode's pretty much the same difficulty as chapter 10 dark mode. Or there isn't much of a difference from dark mode to normal mode. Uh, the, yeah, no, we ran out of time. I'm like, wait, did she actually kill us then? No. Uh, she had 800,000 health left. We're not beating that. Like, there's just no way. So, um, yeah, we're doing one more ten draw because I feel bad. This is my thanks, my, please accept my apology. What is that boss? Seriously? Ugh. First I'm like, oh, don't make it easier than the stage before. Don't make it have a million health. Seriously, that's like killing a dragon. You may have like two and a half times the time. But that's killing, uh, like, level, not level, what it, would it be, like, level 7 cake dragon on your own in only two and a half times the time. Wait, I've done that before, because I can do, like, 500,000 damage in the cake dragon. Wait, why can't I beat this thing? Now I'm confused. Because in the cake dragon, with a good attempt, I can get over 500,000 damage. And it's not that difficult. So, if I double the time, theoretically I should be able to do a little over a million damage, which is all I need to do. So how, like, just, just why, absolutely, I'm doing one more of these, by the way. Why am I, like, I just don't understand. Why am I nowhere near beating it, then? I don't know, I'm a little confused. That wasn't 10 million, right? It wasn't million health. I'm not misreading the number. I might have been misreading the number. It's defense, do enemies have defense in this game? Because I guess cookies do have defense. So if enemies have defense, maybe this, maybe she has, like, a lot more defense. Maybe that's why. I don't know, do you have tips, and I'm gonna give this as a heads up, before I say, before you respond saying, get vampire, get, uh, who's the other one again? Oh man, this is gonna be even worse, Rai! Don't say get vampire, get Rai, use vampire, use Rai, or almond, or whatever. Do you have an advice that I can reasonably do without changing my party? Okay? That's what I'm gonna say. Any advice that doesn't involve changing party, for sure let me know. If it involves changing my party, I don't really want to hear it, I'm not gonna lie, because I don't really want to change my party. That's not something I really feel like doing. I skipped the last one there, there was no point in doing that. But yeah, I just don't really want to change my party again. I like it, I think it's a good party, a good setup. But I'm confused, because yeah, if you look at my team, 60, 53, 52, 49, 47. My team's not bad, they average over level 50. I should be able to do this somewhat easily. I guess I don't have max bonds or anything, but... I don't know. This feels... This feels mean. I feel like I should be able to do better on this, but I guess I don't really know. I am not missing any of these, am I? I guess when Hope gets a 3 star, I get another bond buff. Like, there's many cookies that when they level up, I'm gonna get benefits from, but it's just, like, that's just pure luck. There's no way to guarantee that I'm gonna make this progress. Like, honestly, getting um, a cream puff, that would increase all my cookies' health by 50. Still a thick cookie, that would be pretty helpful, especially since licorice cookie in this bond is 5 star. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, who's holding me up there? I can do one. I have an upgraded devil cookie. Because pastry cookie, I think, is two or three stars. So, I, if I upgrade this, this actually is one or two bond buffs. Uh, but this is pretty much it for today. I, I'm sorry that I couldn't beat that. I, like, I really am quite sorry and disappointed. But they're, like, I was... It's not something... Even if I spent, like, three hours today recording and trying to do it, it just wasn't going to happen. If I had all five-star cookies... That probably wasn't gonna happen. What I realistically need to do is just keep collecting XP. I probably won't even try next time, I'm to be honest, because we are so far off. It's not like with the four evil cookies where we are like an inch away for like two seconds away from winning. We're nowhere near for this one. So I think next time I'm actually gonna probably be doing something else. I don't actually know what I'm gonna do next time. Do you have any suggestions that's non-chapter 10 related? What do you want to do? Do you wanna see me doing some more duck boat? And if so, do you have a talking topic? Do you have a topic for that video? 
what should I talk about while doing dark mode? Because I don't like just doing it with nothing to talk about. It's quite boring. Both me and very likely you. So yeah, I don't know. Because I don't think we're getting that close. Maybe that, you know what? Maybe next video I'm going to try to clear up some land in the meantime. And next video I'm going to try to make my kingdom not look like this pile of garbage. Because it really does. Like, my walls and my roads. I, why walls? My roads and my buildings are so messed up. I haven't even built the new cookie houses, man. So I'm gonna, you know what, yeah. We have a lot of time saves, I think. We got some special ones, I believe. If I go to miscellaneous, no, rarities, no. Supplies. Are they in supplies? Yeah. We got two 12-hour ones. We have quite a few of these. So, uh, yeah, I think next time we might actually try to fix, try to make my kingdom look half decent. So let me know if you have some suggestions for that. But yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. And subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day. It's super nice. And I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.